everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a skincare declutter. I was prompted to do this because I hauled some skincare recently, and I have this entire nine drawer unit from Ikea, the Alex nine drawers, dedicated to skincare, and this does not fit. <laughs> and I have other skincare also that needs to be put away, so I decided it was time to declutter all of these drawers, literally every single one all the way to the floor. I also have some skincare back here, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have quite a few declutters on my channel already, so I will leave my declutter playlist linked in the description box. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get started. So these are the skincare products that I have sitting on top that do not fit in my drawers, so obviously I'm going to be keeping these products. These, I just recently hauled these, and I haven't used anything except for these two products, and so far I'm in love with both of them, especially these. These are the Noxzema Ultimate Clear anti-blemish pads these are bomb so I need to make room for these along with some other skincare so obviously I'm keeping this stuff because I literally just bought it I also have some skincare back in here and I will just like pull this out and show you guys what I have because it's pretty important <laughs> So these are all the products that I keep on top of my Alex 9 drawer unit because this is what I reach for like on the daily basis. So I'm going to be keeping all of this stuff as well because like I said, I use pretty much all of this every single day. I will be doing a full in-depth skincare routine video very soon and most of these products will be included. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to be keeping all of this stuff. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I definitely will go into very specific detail when I do that skincare video. So this is my first skincare drawer and this is what I call my drunk elephant drawer. This is my happy place. I absolutely love drunk elephant and I will be doing a full dedicated video to drunk elephant very soon. I'll probably be filming that within the next couple of days. Um, but I absolutely love everything in here. So I'm keeping everything in here, but I do have a bunch of these like sample sizes to add to this drawer and then Drunk Elephant was also so insanely amazing and actually sent me a couple products as PR so um, I have this super cute Drunk Elephant bag right here. Um, I love the bag and I have the Sea Firma Day Serum which I love this. This was shown earlier in the video about the stuff you know when I was talking about the stuff on top of my um, drawer unit so I have a backup of this because my other one is almost gone so thank goodness I also have a backup of the de bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops which are right here and then they also sent me the lippy balm which is for you can use it for your lips or your eyes and I actually have this back here so I will be giving this one to my mom because I just don't need two of them right now because this one is basically new. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to work these somehow into here and move on to the next drawer. So I actually have quite a few of these. I'm going to, I have one, two, I have three of these. I'm going to keep one for me and then I'm going to give one to my mom and then I'm going to give one to my friend Alicia as well. So um, I'm just going to kind of stick this in here somehow. I like to keep the these back here. These are empty boxes right here. Um, and I put the full sizes on top. But I like to keep the empty boxes, at least for now. I'll probably end up getting rid of them soon. But for now, I like to keep the empty boxes. So I'm just going to kind of squish this in there somehow. And then I have two of these. So... I'm just going to keep one and I will give the other one to uh, either my mom or my friend Alicia. So this is my first drawer. Like I said, love everything in here and I'm not getting rid of anything, but trust me later, we're going to be getting rid of some stuff. So this is where things start to get a little sticky. <laughs> this is supposed to be like my cleanser and exfoliator kind of drawer, um, but I have like a lot of stuff in here. I have like acne clearing pads. Um, so from Sephora collection, I have a bajillion full-size cleansers, and then there's like even stuff back there, and I don't even know what's back there. So I think what I'm going to do is take everything out of here and then slowly put stuff back in here. Alright, so I'm actually going to put um, all of the cleansers in here, and then we're going to kind of go through them one by one. So I'm pretty sure that these are all of my actual like cleanser, cleanser products. I do have one other cleanser that's in my shower that I'm using right now. It's from Tula and it's in like the light blue bottle. I got it in a FabFitFun box, but um, I have way too many cleansers right here. So 
<sighs> this is gonna be really hard for me, but we're gonna go through this. Um, the first thing here are, are these little cleansing sheets. I've had these for quite some time now, and they're a really cool concept. It's basically like little sheets that are in here that dissolve when they get wet, and it turns into a cleanser. So this is great for traveling, but honestly, I don't travel very much um, as of now, and if I do or were to travel, I would probably end up just bringing like a little mini cleanser like this. So I am going to declutter that. Um, what else? Okay. <laughs> this is going to be hard for me because I love Soap and Glory, but I really just have so many cleansers. So I think I'm actually going to declutter both of these. These are the Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Washes. I have gone through multiple of these, um, and I have two of them right here. I don't think either of them are used. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and declutter these and give them to someone else because... I just have too much cleanser and I want to use these other ones before I use these so yeah just gonna uh, have to declutter those but it's fine because they'll definitely go to someone that will actually use them um okay let's see I have two mini cleansers here I have the um kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood face wash from youth to the people and I haven't ever tried this I actually really wanted to try this but um yeah, so I'm going to keep that. <laughs> and then this is the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse Cleanser. And this is another one that I haven't used, but I definitely want to. So I'm going to keep this one as well. I just realized I have more cleansers. I have like a catch-all drawer at the bottom. Um, I'll show you really quick. Sorry for the lighting, but I have this like catch-all drawer at the bottom that has basically... It's a bunch of random stuff. It has extra products. It has masks. It has products that didn't fit in these other drawers. But I do have quite a few cleansers in here as well. So, um, like this Glow Recipe one and this Murad one. So, I'm going to take these cleansers out of here and then add them to our pile. All right. So, I added three more cleansers. I have this, whoops, this Glow Recipe one, which I'm definitely going to be keeping. Haven't even used this yet. I literally just bought this. I also have this one right here. This is from Belief. This is the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. Again, I just bought this, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. This one right here, I also just bought. This is the La Mer, the cleansing gel. And again, literally just bought this, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I'll probably um, not put it in this drawer. I'm going to definitely um, actually take this out of the box and put it like standing up somewhere so that I can use this one because... I spent a lot of money on this, so I definitely want to get my money's worth out of this, so I'm actually going to set this in a different place to put, like, in my bathroom. I have this Pixie Glow Tonic Cleansing Gel, which I recently got sent in PR, and I do really want to try this, so I am going to keep this one as well. Also, this Glossier um, Milky Jelly Cleanser I'm going to keep. I haven't gotten the chance to try this yet, but I did purchase it a while back, honestly. I feel like I bought this, like on Black Friday or something, so <laughs> I really need to get on this. This one is from Mario Badescu. This is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I've used probably about half of this, and honestly, um, like, I, I like it, but I don't think I love it, so I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. Um, I also have this uh, face wash from First Aid Beauty. This is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser, and this was also sent to me as PR. Quite a few of the things that I'm going to be showing you today were sent to me as PR, but I also have purchased a lot of it with my own money. So yeah, that's part of why I have so much is because I got quite a bit of it for free. Um, actually, the rest of these items in here, I was sent for free some way or another. Um, but the First Aid Beauty one, I do want to keep this one. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have this Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser, and I, I, think, I think I used this once. But I don't remember. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Okay, now we have this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I got this in a boxy charm, and I do really want to try this, so I am going to keep that one as well. Then I have two more. So this is so stressful. Wow. <laughs> I have the Tula Probiotic Skincare uh, Something Cleansing Oil, Replenishing Cleansing Oil. Let's see what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. I don't really have any other cleansing oils. Um, I don't know if I've ever... Yeah, I've used one. Um, I used one from Trader Joe's, so... I do think I'm going to keep this one. And then this is something that I redeemed with my money from FabFitFun. This is the Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser, and... 
Uh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, like, I feel like this would be really good for me, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Now I have a bunch of random products that aren't necessarily cleansers, but I keep them in this drawer. So uh, I have these Bare Minerals Mix Exfoliate Smooth Add to Cleanser Skin Polishing Grains. These are sort of like... Um, it's like a bottle of stuff <laughs> that you add to a cleanser to make it an exfoliating cleanser, but I haven't ever used this and I got this at TJ Maxx and I'm probably not going to use it because I don't want to mess with the formula of my cleanser. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. It's still brand new. I also have this acne. Oh. I also have this Peter Thomas Roth Acne Discovery Kit. Again, this is something that I purchased that TJ Maxx and it, it it's very intriguing, but uh, I don't know if I should try this or not. I haven't honestly been the biggest fan of Peter Thomas Roth. I've tried quite a few of their products, but honestly just I haven't really loved anything. So I'm actually going to declutter this as well. The next product I have is this. It's from Origins. This is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Exfoliating Cleansing Powder to Clear Pores. It's a cleansing powder, so I guess you mix it with water to make a cleanser. Like, this is something that's actually kind of cool, and I really do like Origins, um, and I love their Clear Improvement line, so I might keep this. I have these Acne Dots from Alba Botanica, and these actually are really good. I like them a lot. I like the Peace Out Skincare ones even more, but I think I only have, like, one... Yeah, I have one strip left in here, so I think I'm just gonna toss the box and then keep this strip, like, right there. <laughs> I'm going to slide these cleansers to the back because um, it's definitely gonna be a while before I get to those. Um, I have a bunch of these, like, pad things. Um, I have these four here. I also have these lemon ones from Clean and Clear, and then I have these Noxzema ones. Um, I don't know that this is the best drawer to keep them in, so I don't think I'm going to store them in this drawer. I think I'm going to try to store them in my extra drawer at the bottom. So for now, we're going to take all of those out. Next, I have some um, exfoliators. So I have this Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. So I guess this is actually a cleanser, but I used to use it as an exfoliator. Um, and then I got the full size for Christmas. So I am going to be keeping that. I also am going to be keeping the Clean and Clear one that I just bought. This is that Zesty Scrub. I have this one from Trader Joe's. This one is actually so good. It's the Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. So I'm going to keep that. And then the other one that I have is this um, Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Derm Abrasion. And there's no instructions on this, so I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know. It looks like an exfoliator to me, but honestly, I don't know how to use that. Um, hmm, you know what? I'm going to declutter it. <laughs> and then I have a backup of my Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I just recently purchased this because this is the one that I currently have, and it's literally like... You can probably see the liquid down there. I only have a little bit left. So I'm going to finish this one off first, but for in the meantime, I'll keep this one in here. Then we're down to these two maybe products. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to declutter this Murad cleanser. I know, I know. So crazy, but I didn't pay for it, which is good. <laughs> um, that one was, uh, I actually got that from FabFitFun. I redeemed some, like, credit that I had to get that, but um, I'll definitely add that to a giveaway. Anything that's, like, new or unopened, I will definitely add to giveaways in the future on my channel. Um, but anyway, um, this cleanser, I might keep this because it's Kate Somerville, which is really expensive, and I definitely haven't given this a fair shot, so I will go ahead and keep that one as well. So that is everything for this drawer. It looks a lot better. I still have all of these acne pad things, but I'm going to put those in a different drawer, but this makes me feel very good. <laughs> this is our next drawer. This is kind of like a makeup remover and toner situation right here. Um, I'm going to go to my extra drawer and see if I have anything that should go in here. I forgot this um, Ula Hendrickson Transforming Walnut Scrub. Um, this is actually kind of funny because of all that drama that was going around with the um, 
Kylie Jenner walnut scrub, but I'm gonna add this to the drawer above right here um, because that's a scrub. So we're just gonna set her right there. So I have like three products here that probably should go in this drawer, um, but obviously this this is not gonna work. Um, okay, so oh, this is so hard. Okay, well obviously I just recently purchased the this Ordinary Lactic Acid, so I'm going to definitely be keeping that. I'm also going to be keeping the Thayer's Facial Toner, the Witch Hazel. This is the lavender. I have the toner, and then I also have the spray. I just purchased those, and so far I love them. So I am going to be keeping those. Definitely keeping this Pixie Glow Tonic. I'll go ahead and get rid of this Kopari Coconut Mini Melt. I just don't see myself using this, so I'm going to declutter that. Um, I have these makeup removers. I have Lancome, I have Clinique, and then I have like a mini of this Clinique one, and then I have this Sephora Collection Micellar kind of water makeup remover stuff, so I do want to keep those. I'm actually going to put this in a different drawer, and I'm also going to be putting this Kate Somerville Liquid Exfolicate in a separate drawer as well. Um, we're going to get to it in a second. Um, so this is all stuff that I definitely want to keep. I have this right here from Ula Hendrickson. I've had this forever. This is the uh, dry slash sensitive skin balancing cucumber face mist and honestly, I don't really see myself using this So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I have two of these Mario Badescu uh, Facial sprays and I really do like these facial sprays. So I'm I think I'm gonna keep those um, I have this this was something that I freaking love. This is actually my second bottle of it and I'm like down to about here about to the label, but I just don't use this anymore and I have found a routine that works for me So this is a really good product if you have oily acne prone skin. I highly recommend it I got this one from Marshall's for $7.99, but they do still sell this to my knowledge um, at the regular store and I would even pay full price for this, but I just don't find myself reaching for it anymore So I am going to declutter this man if you asked me like six months ago if I would ever let this go I would have said heck no. I have this Drillique rose water balancing mist. I love this I definitely want to keep that back here. I have this rose mist from Trader Joe's um, and I definitely would choose the Jerlique one over this one, but this one is also really good, but I just don't really reach for it anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Oh, this is a backup of my Dark Spot Toner from Ula Hendrickson. I use this every single night, so I am going to keep this back there. But um, this, however, mm, again, this is something that I, I obviously used, like, some of it. You only use a little bit of this. This is the Special Cucumber Lotion. I used it as, like, a toner, but um, mm, mm, I just don't use it anymore. So I'm going to declutter this. I'm, like, shocking myself with how much I'm getting rid of. This Garnier Micellar Water I definitely want to keep, and this is the uh, um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Micellar Makeup Melter. So the thing is um, that I have this one from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and this stuff is freaking amazing. I love it so much. Like, I will pay full price for this. <laughs> um, so I definitely love that one. And then I also have one of these in my Drunk Elephant drawer. This, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the... Um, makeup melting butter cleanser and I really like this one as well so I have two of those so I really don't think I need this one so jeez, oh, I'm gonna declutter this okay sorry for the intermission um anyway forgot where I was um okay what needs to go in here we need our stairs in here just like that and then our Mario Badescu can go back there okay that looks pretty good I'm happy with that this is another drawer that is full of items that definitely needs to be decluttered so there are a couple of things in here that I'm 100% for sure keeping right away that would be the Derma E scar gel the Charlotte Tilbury it's called like the miracle or no the magic cream the Tatcha luminous dewy skin cream that's a for sure keep this is a for sure keep. This is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. My mom is making so much noise right now. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this never happens. 
Okay, so those are for sure keeps. Um, this is a for sure keep. Um, so I have a lot of ultra repair cream from First Aid Beauty, so I definitely want to keep this. But I also have it in squeezy tube version, and I probably don't need squeezy tube version, so I'm going to declutter that. Um, this milk, like, cooling stick I really like. This is from Pixie. This is n new to me. Um, I have the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer that I want to keep. This is like a hand cream. It's like a chemical exfoliant hand cream. So I'm going to move that to a different drawer. Um, I think I have this miracle sauce from It Cosmetics. But I haven't ever used it. So I'm going to declutter that. I want to keep this eye cream from Lancome. I definitely want to keep this Belief um, Aqua Bomb. It's like a mini. Um, I think I have like another one. Yeah, I have another mini back here, which I'm going to keep. I have a mini of the Tatcha Water Cream that I keep back there because I also have one right here. Um, let's see. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. I want to keep that. Jerlique I want to keep. Keep. Um, and then this I want to keep as well. Over here, I have like a lot of little things. I'm going to get rid of this Murad Invisible or Perfecting Shield. I just don't see myself using that. I also will get rid of this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. I can also get rid of this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream because I like to use the um, this one from Ula Hendrickson way more. This is the Clinique. Um, this is a moisturizer, a little mini moisturizer. Honestly, I can probably get rid of that. Um, this I want to keep for sure. This is from Sephora Collection. This is the new, their new moisturizer. Um, so I want to keep that and I have like a little extra one right there. This is the Dr. Brand Needles No More No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. I want to keep that as well as this eye cream from First Aid Beauty. I have another one of these Murad. Um, Invisibler Perfecting Shields. I'll get rid of that. Um, I definitely want to keep those. I can get rid of this little Clinique um, moisturizer. I just don't, I'm not going to use it, honestly. Definitely want to keep the Ula Henriksen, for sure. Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. <sighs> I can get rid of that. <laughs> and then this is from Dr. Jart. This is the Tiger Grass Cream. I don't really see myself using this, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I have this Pixie on the Glow Stick, multi-use moisture stick. I do want to keep that, so um, I'm going to take this out of the box and maybe put her there. And then back here, I just have a bunch of little minis. I can get rid of this Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment because I'm just not going to use that. I want to keep the Tatcha. This is from Pharmacy. This is the Lightweight Moisture. Mm, I'm going to get rid of this Pharmacy thing. I don't really know what that is. Um, this is from Sunday Riley. This is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I'll keep that. And then this is the, what is this? The Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I'll get rid of that as well. Um, so that's where we're at with that. It doesn't look like amazing, but it looks a lot better. This next drawer has serums and things in it. So, uh, yeah, I need to go through this. And then I have this that I just recently purchased from Tatcha. This is the Violet Sea Brightening Serum. Um, this was in that extra drawer. So I'm going to add this to that drawer. And then I also am going to add these two products to this drawer. Um, and then I might might try to fit all these like acne pad things in here but we'll see i'm just gonna kind of go through this like fast forward motion and then i'll show you what i keep and what i get rid of at the end
So this is everything that I am deciding to declutter from this drawer. Um, we've got some oils from the body shop that I just don't use anymore. Um, I have a bunch of random oils, like one. this little one is from Laura Mercier, that one's just kind of old. Corez, this Co Caudalie, Caudalie serum, um, just like a bunch of little minis. I have this from Saturday Skin. I just don't ever use that. And then this is from Kate Somerville. Did I already talk about this? This is the liquid exfoliate. Um, I just have so many other chemical exfoliants. And I know this is so expensive, but I just think someone else could definitely use this way more than I could. So I'm going to declutter that. And I'm also going to declutter this Ultra Repair Liquid Recovery Hydrate and Comfort for sensitive skin just because... I just don't experience super dry skin right now, um, and I probably wouldn't until, like, December or January or February, so, um, I just decided to get rid of that because I just don't think I'm going to use it, so I'm going to declutter all of those items, so this is what the drawer looks like now, I was able to fit all of these, like, pad situations in here and then I have two products in here I have grease lightning from lush and then my Tatcha serum I think I'm gonna take these out and put them somewhere else because I want them standing upright so I think I'll put them on top somewhere where they look cute so um, I'll give you a little update about where we're at so far we've decluttered all of this stuff which I'll, I'll show you everything at the very end but we have this whole bin filled and then we have this entire bin filled of stuff so we're doing pretty good so far this is a whole situation right here <laughs> these are most of my sheet masks but i also have all of these right here which are ones that are from like two christmases ago that i need to use like right now i have all of these and this like you know they're they're all up under there they go all the way back and then i have more in my extra drawer so I might try to quickly go through this. I'm just going to speed through this. I, mm -hmm. We'll see how much I get rid of. I'll, tr I'll do my best. So I just grabbed basically a bunch of them, um, just ones that I have like 10 of, and I just kept like two, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and declutter the rest of them just because I have so many. Um, these ones are all of my ones from the creme shop. They go all the way back, um, and I just, I still have too many. I need to basically do a sheet mask every single night for the rest of my life, but I'll somehow incorporate these into something I'll give them away somehow all right so things may get a little bit more interesting here so I'm sitting like next to my drawer so that I can kind of get closer up in here um this is an entire mask drawer and then the one underneath which I'll kind of give you a little sneak peek of this was my like extra drawer but now it basically only has masks in here besides this oh what is this this is a moisturizer shoot i forgot this this is like a big tub of moisturizer this is the ultra repair cream so i'm gonna keep that down here just because i don't have anywhere else to put it um uh oh and then i'm gonna have to fix this put this up in one of the into my moisturizer drawer so i'll do that afterwards but we're gonna start with this baby right here and um, I love masks. I am a masker, as you can tell. So, I'm gonna pick some out that I definitely want to keep for sure. And that would be the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. This is so good. It's so good. I noticed the difference right away. I got this at TJ Maxx for $14.99, but I love this so much. I've used like half of it. So, definitely wanna keep that. I also definitely want to keep my Tatcha. For sure. I love this stuff so much. Um, I love this one from Clinique. This is the Pep Start Double Bubble Purifying Mask. I actually saw this was on sale on clearance on Sephora's website, so I feel like they might be discontinuing it. But I picked mine up from TJ Maxx, um, so I will be keeping that. I'm also going to be keeping this Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I actually haven't used this one yet, but I have used this one a couple times. This is the Summer Fridays Overtime 
mask this is like an exfoliating one and this one i think smells really good and i really like this one so i will be keeping both of those this i absolutely love this is from sephora this is the um purifying mud mask it honestly smells kind of weird but i've used it like four or five times and i actually went through a mini version of this like a long time ago and it was in different packaging, but they just like repackaged it with their new line. And it smells bizarre, honestly. Like, it doesn't smell good at all. But um, it actually kind of smells like some kind of pepper or something. <laughs> like a vegetable pepper, but it's really, like it works so good. I highly recommend it. So of course I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm definitely going to keep my Pixie Peel and Polish, my Milk, um, this is the Watermelon Brightening Mask, I actually just used this one tonight, the Pixie Glow Mud Mask is a definite, um, I just got these ones, these are the Sephora, we have the Banana Cream Mask and the Oat something mask, and I haven't used these yet, so I want to keep those. This is a peeling mask from Pixie. So this is the T-Zone Peel Off Mask. I also have this peeling mask. This one is from the Creme Shop. This is the Little Black Mask Peel Off Charcoal and Vitamin E. Um, I don't need both of these, so <sighs> what should I do? I think I'll keep the Pixie one, actually, and declutter the Creme Shop one. I've used, like, probably half of the Creme Shop one, um, but... And I really do love this a lot. I love the Creme Shop. I love their products. This is a great mask. But I'm like more excited to use this one right now. And if I had to pick right now which one to use, I would probably use this one. And I used this one just the other day. So I still like it. But I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to keep the Pixie one. Um, the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige sleeping mask. I'm definitely going to keep. I used this uh, the other day. And I re-fell in love with it. So I'm going to keep both of my minis of that. I also have, this is the eye sleeping mask from Laneige, um, and it's like a really cool packaging, so I do want to keep this as well. We have the watermelon sleeping mask, this is a must. This is the Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. I'm going to say maybe on that, um, and then this right here, I haven't used this, this is from First Aid Beauty, this is the Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask, I'm going to say maybe to that as well. This is from Origins, this is the By All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask. Um, I really do like this as well, so I will be keeping that. Okay, I need to get rid of some of these. So I just recently purchased this from the Creme Shop. This is the Watermelon Overnight Gel Mask, and I bought this to see if it was a dupe for this, but they are very different consistencies and smells. I will be doing like half of my face with this and half of my face with this and seeing if I can tell a difference, but I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna keep those. But but I have four other sleeping masks from the creme shop and I just don't need them so I have this one which is a rose one this one is actually unopened so I will declutter that one I've only gotten rid of two uh oh <laughs> um this one is the hyaluronic acid one I really like this one um but I'm gonna see this one, this is the snail one. I feel bad for the snail, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one is the collagen one, and I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. So I have the hyaluronic acid one. That one's going to be a maybe as well, but I am going to keep both of those. I have some from the body shop. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at these. I think I'm going to keep them all. Yeah, I'm going to keep those body shop ones, and I'm also going to keep my Too Faced Glow Job mask. I have the avocado melt sleeping mask from Glow Recipes. I'm going to keep that. This is like a mini version of that ginger this. So I'm going to declutter that. Um, what else do I have back here? I have some Peter Thomas Roth. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter those. I'm going to declutter this like mask from India, India Hicks. And then I just have some mini fresh masks back there. Um, I have some Sephora sleeping masks. I really like those. Um, I have this little Glam Glow guy, which is nice. And then this Clear Improvement Origins <clears throat> mask. So I'll keep those. I'm going to get rid of this Hyaluronic Acid one. And... I wish I knew what this was for. Like, is it for acne or inflammation? Eh. So we're definitely keeping her. I'm going to kind of start putting things back and I'll see if there's anything else that I get rid of.
Okay, I'm also, oh, this could fit right there. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get rid of this drawer for now. This looks a lot better. This makes me happy. Now we're gonna move on to this drawer. So we have lots and lots of things in this drawer as well. Um, we have another milk makeup mask. This is the Cannabis Hydrating Face Mask. I'm actually going to move this to the drawer above if it'll fit by the watermelon one. So over here, um, we've got some things that I'm definitely, uh, okay, uh, hmm. I'm gonna take everything out. <laughs> Okay, we got a fresh drawer here. I'm gonna be keeping my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream because I love that stuff and it's great. This I'm gonna be keeping, I just got a restock of this. I like got re, I repurchased it because I used up my other one. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. This is some serious stuff. I like to mix this with um, water and also apple cider vinegar. If you use apple cider vinegar, it's like so intense. Um, so I'm gonna keep that as well. I have a backup of my Clinique Double Bubble Mask and I got this on clearance for 12 bucks at Marshalls. So I'm gonna keep that. I also have these Murad Age Reform Hydro Glow Aqua Peel Masks. Um, so I'll keep that as well. I bought a bunch of this banana stuff um, because it was um, originally $24.99 and I got it for $1.47 at Ulta. So I'm gonna keep both of those. I'm also gonna be keeping this Tony Moly banana sleeping pack because um, uh, yeah, I just got this as well and I love banana and look at how cute this is. I have this mask. Um, I used up actually about half of it. This is from, I don't know, it's the Unicorn Magic Peel Off Mask. It's like full of glitter. I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter that. Um, I actually have a bunch of these glitter masks and um, honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna declutter them because um, I just don't really use these. And if I do use a glitter mask, I am going to use my uh, Too Faced one. So I'm going to declutter these three. I got them all from TJ Maxx. I have these Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. Definitely keeping those. I have this Alia Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. And it detoxifies and brightens. This is actually really, really good. Um, I, I feel like I don't like the smell of it though. Um, yeah, it's maybe it smells like rose. I don't know. It smells kind of odd. I feel like it smells like rose actually now that I'm able to identify the scent I kind of like it a little better, um, but this is something that I actually instantly see results with so I will be keeping that Someone They sent me that it is as PR like a long time ago um, I have this from formula 1006 This is a peel-off mask I guess I'll keep that. Um, I also have this one from Wander. This is the Lift Off Purify and Brighten Peel Off Mask. Um, I'll keep this one. This one's from Joa. I haven't used this one yet, but this is also a peel off mask, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Dewy Tree Strawberry Honey Jam Peel Off Nose Pack. I'm gonna declutter that. I have these. Um, these are like eye patches. So my camera battery died, so I just um, took you off the tripod just so I could show you. I have these peach like eye patches, and they're not open yet. Like they're still completely sealed. So I'm gonna declutter those because I have these ones from Pixie. So these are gonna be gone. I bought this little mask set and. Realistically, I'm not going to use this. It's so cute though. It has like a little spatula, a little container for the mask, and then a sponge, but I'm not going to ever use this, so I'm going to declutter that. I have this, which is a little like single-use peel-off mask, which I'll keep this one. Um, I'll just kind of like stick it right in there. And then I have two of these peel-off masks. I actually bought one for myself, um, and I've used probably about half of this. And then my friend Alicia bought this for me for my birthday because I uh, literally, like, 
I don't know, she just knows me that well. <laughs> so I do have both of those, and I'm gonna keep both of those. So this is what the drawer looks like after. And then this is the absolute bottom drawer, and this just has more empty boxes, like these drunk elephant empty boxes. I have these little waxing strips. Um, my ultimate skin spa, like the b empty box, and then this is the uh, travel case. And I actually, um, it's not in there because it's in my shower, and I have my two extra um, brush heads in there, but I currently am using the silicone one, so I keep that there. Um, I have some empty bottles of Halo back there. I have three empty bottles. Some other empty products that I'm keeping for my skincare video. These are some empty drunk elephant products. I thought these would be nice to keep for like traveling if I want to just like pump a little bit of my Lala Retro Whipped Cream in here. These are both empty. Um, and then this is also empty. <laughs> and then this is this little thing that I bought because um, Bella actually uh, told me that she really likes it. So I got this so that I could uh, shave my legs in a flash. It's from the brand Flawless. So yeah. That's everything in the bottom drawer, so now I'm going to show you everything that I decluttered today. So this is everything that I decluttered today. We have a bunch of these little sheet masks here, and I really need to go through and spend more time and get rid of even more. I have this little Foreo, um, a bunch of masks, um, little treatments, toners, more masks, cleansers, sprays, more masks, literally so much stuff. All of these um, cleansers, toners, exfoliators, moisturizers, masks, and then all of these things are just like all over the place. Oils, we have more cleansers, serums, and things. So all of this I like, decluttered, all of this, and then all of this. So we did pretty good if you ask me. Um, like that's like a lot of stuff. I'm happy. I did better than I thought, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, hopefully this inspired you to declutter your things. I was able to fit everything that I needed to into these drawers, which is fabulous. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I can totally declutter my makeup collection again. I really need to do that because let me just show you. <laughs> my highlighter drawers are... Um, out of control so yeah I really need to do some reorganizing and decluttering these three units here are full of makeup this is the skincare this is the one that we just went through and then this one is hair care and some body care and then this one is more body care so let me know what other declutters you guys want to see I love you guys so much I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one bye